What's up guys, JTM Off-Road here. Today's video, we're finally working on the Jeep. So it's been long enough, done lots of work to the Avalanche this year. It's been probably seven, about eight months now, I guess, actually, without doing anything with the Jeep. Finally got it in the garage, gonna start working on it. So it's nothing major, we just have to replace the wheel bearing, uh, but we got some more stuff coming up. We got another, we actually have matching Corbo seats that are coming up, so keep an eye out for that. Eventually, if as long as I am below the roll bar, I wanna get a bikini top for it, and yeah, you know, just get this thing back out on the road and have some fun with it, get it on some trails. So, just gonna keep this video short. We're just gonna get right into it and start changing out the wheel bearing. So I don't think I've ever actually had this happen where I've had a wheel bearing so bad that it does this. But I'll set the camera down so hopefully you'll be able to see a little bit of what happens. But I've always been told if you grab the top and the bottom of the wheel uh, or tire and you shake it, it should you'll feel some play. I don't know if you can see anything but you can definitely hear there's some movement in there. You can definitely feel it running down the road. So we're gonna take the take the wheel off and I mean, hopefully everything's tight. The lugs all feel tight, so I don't think that's that. So we'll take this off and uh, you know check the back to see if the bolts holding the wheel bearing on are good. And then if that's good, then I'm pretty sure we have a bad wheel bearing. Not gonna be able to see it very well on this but because I'm doing this all by feel but you can grab the top of this move it back and forth you can hear that moving in there so pretty sure it's wheel bearing we'll take the uh, we'll take this off make sure that the axle nuts actually on tight too but I have a feeling it's just bad it's got to be Got the old bearing off. Got the new er bearing that actually is good here. This is actually one off of a spare shaft that I had, and the spare shaft U joint was bad that I never replaced. <laughs> so here we go. Putting this one off the spare on here. Just don't have money for a new bearing right now. So that's gonna have to work. So we're gonna we're gonna coat this thing up with some anisees all over the splines the back and uh, just throw it all together. Alrighty, so wheel bearings changed out pretty straightforward, but Driving around, um, I actually took it like down the street and back, which I haven't done for like quite a while. And there's some pretty good, uh, like, I don't know if you'd call it a wobble, but it's a pretty consistent, like, I guess it's kind of a wobble. I don't know if it's just from the tires sitting so long that they're kind of like flat in one spot or what. So I'm gonna try to drive around a little more um, off and on, see if that kind of like, goes away but I don't know we're gonna I figured out I don't know if it's you know something else you know something else went bad I know this thing needs a lot of attention so I don't know what it is it's just you know the fun of having a Jeep especially an old one like this that just you know I just throw things together but anyway wrapped up for this video guys we're gonna see more of the Jeep coming up soon 
go ahead and uh, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks to all those who have. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. So that's about it for this video, guys. We'll see you in the next one.